Hi, welcome to the viewing of my rat rod. It's based on a 1961 Ford 103E popular body, as you can see. Um, still retains many of its original features. Nice little, that took a lot of sourcing. Um, we got the Wolf Race wheels, period, period, Wolf Race wheels, um, and a full metal body, whole roof, and bodywork. So up the front end over here, we got the skimmer. This is the Ford Essex, three liter V6, um, 1971. Lovely set of exhaust pipes. We'll have that running in a minute. It sounds sweet. As we got the aluminium header tank and things like that. Um, this is all marine grade stainless steel, all been welded together. It is rigid bar, so it's been welded together. Um, same on both sides, attached to the grill and such like. We have the twin horns, the headlights. We have halos inside the headlights. Um, this is your coil over shock absorbers. Um, this is three way adjustables. Um, still running the original top and bottom wishbones, that sort of thing. Um, on the rear, if we can just. Quickly dive down underneath. You can see. So I've modified the rear to take the spacks, which are two-way adjustable um, dampenings. Um, we've had the watts linkage and things like that. New brake pipes, fuel pipes, all the usual stuff that you, as you would rebuild, you would replace and get rid of the old original. Um, all the brakes and everything all been done inside front wheel bearings and such like um, inside the car. So this is the pasture side. We have recline seats and in the back you can see I've just screwed in a couple of cushions. These are actually genuine cushions from Daytona Raceway in America um, that I no longer use. That's where you sit on. Um, so a couple of fire extinguishers and then this used to be a soft top or full sunroof. Um, this is actually a mini, classic mini roof which happens to be the same profile as the roof that seemed to fit really well. In the front end, we have, of course, the grenade steering wheel, uh, gear stick. Um, there's your fuse box and everything else down there. So here we have, obviously, your fuel gauge and your switches. So, to turn it on, there's a simple case of, that's your kill switch, that brings everything alive. We have the ignition, we have the, fuel pump. I'll just give a couple of blips on the old throttle and it should. There we go. Sounds lovely doesn't it? Um, oh yes, so because my fuel gauge is in Fahrenheit and I have a, I can't really see it very well, I can see the camera, I also have a secondary um, electronic temperature gauge. Um, which reads in Celsius, so it gives me a second temperature for the sensor because just a little thing Fahrenheit to Celsius doesn't quite work so well. Um, so it gives me a correct reading, but in the wrong, wrong, anyway. Um, what else is there to tell you? As you can hear it ticking over, absolutely beautiful. You can hear that from that side. You can hear it from this side. make it out. The camera doesn't pick it up so well. We've got nice nice halo headlights. Uh, fuel filter and system running through. Down to the electric fuel pump down there. We have new starter motor last year. All just built a change. New coil. It's had points condenser. Rebuilt alternator. Um, this is all in the last 12 months actually because over lockdown I went through quite a few things So let me just switch that off there So then we've got this switch here, which is um, the radiator fan and this one is electronic overdrive um, And that is about it really There isn't a lot to the car, but as you can see it is all there um, Just a quick browse around so you can have another look around 
got one in the boot. Two in the boot, brand new battery, um, fuel tank, uh, little toolbox as you always need. Um, that's your fuel pipe system that runs through when your fuel gauge is accessed right there. Um, and that is about it. Thank you for your time.